Use Gaussian elimination to solve the system of equations x plus y plus z equals 0, negative x plus 2y plus 5z equals 3, and 3x minus y equals 6. I'm going to rewrite this system over here so that we can work with it a little bit more easily. And we want to notice that there is a missing term in the third row. So we're going to want to make sure that we write everything so that it lines up nicely and it's easier for us to solve. So we've got 3x minus y, and there's no z term on the left, and this equals 6. Good. Now remember that we want to get this into triangular form. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of the three terms in the lower left-hand corner. So we're going to leave the first equation alone because we don't need to eliminate anything from it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try and eliminate the x term in equation 2 and also the x term in equation 3. So let's take a look at equation 2. If we want to get rid of this, we can pretty easily add equation 1 and equation 2 together and that's going to give us 0 for the x term. So we're going to take equation 1 plus equation 2, and we're going to take that sum and put it in the second row. So here, x plus negative x is nothing. They cancel out. y plus 2y is 3y. z plus 5z is 6z. And 0 plus 3 is 3. So we end up with 3y plus 6z equals 3 for our second equation. But we can also perform a row operation to end up getting rid of this 3y here. What we can do is we can take the third equation and then add 3 times the second equation, and that's going to end up canceling out the x's. So we can take 3 times equation 2 plus equation 3, and that will get rid of the x's. 3 times the opposite of x is negative 3x, and negative 3x plus 3x is no x, so that goes away. 3 times 2y is 6y, and 6y minus y is 5y. And then 3 times 5z is 15z, and 15z plus nothing is 15z. And then when we look at the constants, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 6 is 15. Very good. Now, we need at this point to get rid of that 5y in equation 3. And it's going to be a little bit of work getting rid of this 5y because we can only deal with equations 2 and 3. If we deal with equation 1, we're going to get an x thrown in the mix. And we can't multiply 3y by anything really nice to get 5y. 5y is not a multiple of 3y. But we can end up simplifying these two equations by dividing each of them by the greatest common factor among the terms. Let's do that to make our lives easier. The first equation is going to stay exactly the same. For equation 2, all of these are divisible by 3, so we can take equation 2 and divide it by 3 to get y plus 2z equals 1. And then if we look at equation 3, all of those are divisible by 5, so we can take equation 3 and divide by 5. This gives us y plus 3z equals 3. And once we've done this, we notice that both of these are y, and so we can take the difference of these two equations to easily eliminate y. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite what we have, the first two equations, because at this point those are not going to change. The only one we want to change is the third equation to get rid of this y. And what we're going to do to keep positive coefficients is take equation 3 minus equation 2. If we do that, that's going to get rid of the y's because y minus y is 0. 
and then 3z minus 2z is just z, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So by doing this, we are in triangular form, which is very nice, and we are ready to go through and use substitution to solve. We know that z is 2. We can plug that into the second equation to figure out what y is. y plus 2 times z, which is 2, equals 1. 2 times 2 is 4. And if we subtract 4 from both sides, that gives us y equals negative 3. And now that we know what z and y are, we can substitute them into the first equation to figure out what x is. x plus y, which is negative 3, plus z, which is 2, equals 0. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, so this becomes x minus 1 equals 0. And if we add 1 to both sides, that gives us x equals 1. So we have our final solution, x equals 1, y equals negative 3, and z equals 2, which we can write like this, or as an ordered triplet, 1, negative 3, 2, and that also works as a final answer. Either way, we have our solution, and we are good to go.